I know we've all seen the different apparel designs with plain text slapped on the front and then it's sold for $40. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can take your plain text designs and convert them into something that's a bit more visually appealing. My name is Ashley and I am a graphic designer with over 10 years of experience. And before we get started, you can actually grab this file from my Gumroad for free as a token of my appreciation because we are close to a thousand subscribers. I started this channel a little over a year ago and we are getting close. So as a thank you, you can take this file, have it for free and it's over on my Gumroad. So without further ado, let's hop right on into this tutorial. The first thing we're gonna do here is create a new document. My width will be 10 and my height will be 15 and color mode CMYK and 300 PPI. So on this first layer here, I'm gonna get rid of this stroke and then for the fill, I will change it to black and then grab your rectangle tool and cover the background. And then go ahead and rename this layer BG and create a new layer on top. And on this new layer, I am going to name it text. And so my first word here after grabbing the type tool will be the word hell. I'm using white for the color of the font and I will be using swamp witch with a size of 340. Now go ahead and highlight the E and the L and I will change the vertical scale to 60% and set the baseline shift to 90. Now I'm gonna type out half no and change the color to white. But for these words, I'm going to change the font to Devil's Haircut. Change the vertical scale back to 100. And the size will be 150. And I'm going to move it in between the H and the L, but also make sure you change your baseline shift back to zero. But as you can see here, the text doesn't quite fit in between the H and the L, but don't worry, we're going to fix that later. So go ahead and type out Fury and use Swamp Witch for the font. And the size will be 294. Now select the word hell and we are going to go up to object, envelope distort, and make with warp. The style should be arc, horizontal, the bend will be 14%. And the distortion for vertical will be 42. and then click on OK. And now we're going to take half no and we are also going to distort this text as well. Now after clicking make with warp, we're going to use arc, horizontal, and the distortion for horizontal will be negative three and for vertical it will be 15 and then click OK. Now grab your direct selection tool and here we are just going to move different points of the words so that they fit better underneath the E and the L and in between the H and the L. So just click different points and click and drag to fill those areas. Thank you. 
And now I'm gonna take Fury and apply a warp effect to this one as well. For style, change it to shell lower. The bend will be negative 62%. And then for vertical, change it to negative 37 and horizontal will be zero. And so again, grab your direct selection tool and move the different points into the space to fill it in. So for me, I am going to take this text and duplicate it because I am going to actually expand this new text layer. So I like to make sure I also keep the version that's not expanded and have a version that is expanded. So on this layer, I'm going to go to Object, Expand, and click OK. And so now on this layer, I am going to actually make a gradient. So for the first color, use the purple from the swatches panel. And then for the second one, use the not as dark purple. And make sure the angle is set to 90 degrees. And now we're going to duplicate this outline text layer again. And rename this layer to purple gradient. and duplicate it one more time and name this layer 3D. Now select the 3D text layer and we are gonna add a 3D effect. So go to the 3D and materials, click on extrude And for depth, we're going to take it all the way to the max. And then for presets, we are going to change this to front. And then for perspective, change it to 129 degrees. And then on this lighting tab, we are basically gonna keep all the same default values. And then up here in the top corner for render, make sure you select ray tracing is on and the quality will be high and make sure you reduce noise is checked and then click on render. So on this purple gradient layer, duplicate it and rename it to black gradient. And then make sure this layer is selected and go down to gradient and make sure you click on swatches as well. And we are just gonna drag and drop the black swatch into both stops. But on this last stop here, we're gonna change the opacity to 0% and then go over to transparency and change it to multiply. And the opacity will be 70%. Now on this outline text layer down here, I'm just duplicating it and bringing it up to the top and I will rename this layer stroke. So select this layer and make sure the fill should be set to none. 
and then our stroke color we are going to add 75 0 75 and 0 and for stroke change the weight to 2 and then I'm going to select the center buttons for all of these And then over on swatches, I'm going to add this swatch. And then back under gradient, I'm going to create a gradient with this swatch. So place it in both color stops. And on the last one, we're going to change the opacity to 0%. And make sure you change the angle to 90 degrees. And then under transparency, select color dodge. So this is how your text should look so far. And now again, duplicate the outline text layer and bring it up to the top. So here we're going to change this gradient to a solid color and we will use C6, C6, C5. Rename this layer to noise slash texture. And then go to effect sketch halftone pattern and use the size three. Contrast should be 42 and pattern type should be circle and click OK. And now we're going to add a sprayed strokes effect. So go to effect brush strokes sprayed strokes. And now change the stroke length to 12, the spray radius will be 7, and the stroke direction will be right diagonal. And then under transparency, change this layer to overlay. So now we're going to duplicate this layer one more time and bring it up to the top. Name this layer Chrome. So select this layer and then go to Effect Sketch Chrome and use Detail should be 10 and Smoothness should be 10 as well. And now change this layer to Hard Light. And that is how you create a typography design in Adobe Illustrator. If you like what you saw today, make sure you click that like button and also subscribe and make sure you click that bell icon so that you will be notified every time I drop a new video. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.